made it through, y'all. And just want to jump on here right quick because I saw something on YouTube a little while ago, maybe like 20 minutes ago. People out there spreading rumors about a so called food shortage. And I'm like, what? <laughs> uh, hold on for a minute. Let me. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. A food shortage, really? Now, this just. This just goes to show us that. Uh, listening to so called leaders, I can't say they're spiritual, nothing to worry about. It is, is plenty of food on the shelves wherever you go, P plenty of products, plenty of tissue, paper towel, toiletries, necessities, all that, man. Uh,. <laughs> I'm like, this just go to show you that many people do not know or understand prophecy. Because it's not a food shortage. It ain't, if it ever will be a food shortage, it ain't time for it right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What happened when the pandemic started? What, almost two years ago? You know, a bunch of the shelves were empty and whatnot, but... That was because these these companies, they know what they're doing. We ain't going to run out of food no time soon. Out oh, here's a bunch of farms. I see a whole lot of cows and whatnot. I see a whole lot of animals that, 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 that that's waiting to be slaughtered. Come on now. Ain't no food shortage. Don't let nobody deceive you. Don't let nobody to scare you into... You know, trying to do something you ain't got no control over. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yes, it's always good to prepare for the future. If you got a, a garden or something, you know, and you got some some fruits and vegetables that you plant, yeah, that's good. Start canning them and whatnot, you know, okay, cool. Yes, the gas prices are high, but before this quote-unquote war, the gas prices was already getting high. Prices in the stores was already getting high. It was Inflation was already on the rise before this. So, don't, don't be fooled. Don't let nobody trick you. Yeah, you, yeah most definitely you got to be prepared, but uh, I'm going to tell you. Ain't nobody running out of no food no time soon. And prophecy tells us to be able to buy or sell without without that mark of the beast. Okay. The mark of the beast, the, the abomination of desolation hasn't even been placed yet. Matter of fact, they haven't even built that third temple for the man of sin or the abomination of desolation to stand in yet. It ain't time yet. Mark my words, ain't man. I'm telling you, we got a lot of charismatic leaders out there, a lot of highly influential people out there that's uh, leading the masses. Got a whole lot of followers, got a whole lot of subscribers, etc. But like I mentioned before, you got world leaders that know the history of Israel know who to go to when it comes to prophecy they ain't going to them they listen to somebody else they listen to psychics and seers so called and so called spiritual advisors but they not they not getting the they not getting the whole truth and what's a half truth a lie so just want to just want hypocrisy of the world now, I heard on the radio the other day, you know, 
you can make a donation to this organization and for every dollar you donate or something they'll plant a tree because they want to save the world but every winter they chopping down thousands and thousands of trees for a so called pagan celebration that ain't got nothing to do with Jesus that's hypocrisy you want to save a tree but every year you chopping them down do that make sense man come on somebody need to wake up for real the world is all about getting your dollar you know we we have to be we have to be better servants of the most high God and not, not let nobody deceive us okay because they say when the abomination and desolation come around that you know e even the very elect will be deceived however we watching for this we waiting for this and now is not the time for that so man just wanted to tell y'all hey we make take it day by day one day at a time and you'll be fine stay stay humble upright servants keep the law statutes and commandments of god written in the bible okay written in the scriptures and you'll be fine the lord will keep his hedges around you and he will protect you you still may have some persecution but the lord takes care of his servants you know so man y'all have a great evening man stay strong and I don't know if I'm gonna be on tomorrow but I just wanted to point that out to you now get it out the way cause I could name names but I mean it ain't gonna make no difference it ain't gonna make no difference. cause uh people have itching ears you know what I'm saying anything that sound good you know people look around at the things that's going on with them but they look around with their carnal mind they, they don't use their spiritual eyes you have to have the oracles of God you have to have the knowledge of the scriptures of prophecy to really know what's going on in this world we in the last days but don't be afraid. Don't be scared. Don't let nobody come to you with no skin. That's a skirmish. That's a little baby war. You know what I'm saying? And I doubt very seriously if that thing go on for any any length of time, any years or anything. You know what I'm saying? There's other more pressing matters to come about in this world for us to be concerned with that. You know what I'm saying? So, man, there is no food shortage, okay? Might be some inflated prices, but there ain't no food shortage, okay? Just want to tell you that. You know what I'm saying? I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. Anybody out there that's truly seeking the truth, hey, we got to stay strong. Because the worst is yet to come. Not now. <laughs> Alright. Peace and blessings multiply.